All right, now let's get started to send the message to Gemini and get a streamed response. So let's create that method. So this is going to be a future method, which is going to be a void, and then send message. We are going to require, so let's correct this. All right, so here, first of all, let's require a string, which is going to be our message. Then let's require a boolean, which is going to be is, is a text only, which means it's a text only response without images. And then that's about all we need to send here. This is going to be asynchronous, okay? All right, now here, the first thing that we have to do, okay, it's just thinking that we want that, let's not do that. So the first thing that we are going to do here is to set the model, okay? So let's do set the model. So let's await and then set model. You know that in this method, we are passing our is text on it, and then depending on that, it's going to set the correct model that we have to use, okay? So we are here, and then after we set the model, let's also set loading to true, because uh, we are loading here, so set, set loading to true, all right, so now the loading has started. Then after this, we are going to get the chat ID, okay? So get the chat ID, all right? So here, we need to create a method. If it's the first time we are sending a message, we need to create the new chat ID. If it's not the first time, we need to use the chat ID, which is for this chat messages so that we can store the messages in the same database, okay? So let's create a short message to get the chat ID. So down here, let's return a string of this chat ID. So get chat ID. So here we are simply going to check if if current chat ID dot is uh, empty, if it, that is empty, we need to create a chat ID, okay? So if it is empty, we are going to return a constant of, we'll create a chat ID from our package UUID, okay? So let's import. Okay, we need to import this package. So I don't know why I can't import from there. So let's import package UUID. So if this is empty, the current chat ID, which is coming from this chat ID, okay? Which means it's the first time we are sending a message, okay? Else, so we can do else or we can just return uh, in the bottom. So else, if it is not empty, we know we have a chat ID, and then we just retain that chat ID, okay? So that's how we are going to get this method of, so what's wrong with this? What's wrong up here? Let's remove this. Okay. Yeah. So this method of getting a chat ID, that's what we are going to do here. So here we are going to do a string, chat, uh, let's call it uh, chat ID. Yeah, chat ID, and then we are going to get the chat ID from this method, okay? So now, once we have a chat ID, let's initialize uh, history messages, okay? So here we're going to get a, a list of uh, list of history messages okay so here let's initialize first of all an empty list so this is going to be a list of content okay 
which comes from the package, uh, the same package, uh, uh, generative AI history. So this is going to be empty, okay? So we are going to initialize an empty list of empty because we want the AI to know what we will be talking about. So now, after we initialize an empty list, down here, we need to create a method, yeah, like this, get the chart history, okay? So let's also create the method down here, okay? So here, this method is also going to be the future method, which returns a list of content, okay? It returns a list of content, which is going to be our history, and then get history like that. And then here, of course, we're going to require a chat ID, okay? I require a chat ID like that, okay? So Copilot is trying, but this is not how we are going to get it. We have already created the method to get inside the hive box, okay? So what we're going to do is inside here also, let's initialize a list, first of all, of content, which is a history. And then after this, we are going to uh, check if the current chat ID is not empty, okay? Because we only want to get the history if the current chat ID is, is not empty. If it is empty, we, there's no need to get the history. We don't have any history, okay? So here, if current chat ID dot, we're going to say is not empty, okay? If it is not empty, and then we have to get the history from our method. So, okay. We don't need to go to the chat box. We've already created our method to set in chat. So here when you say await uh, set in chat messages, okay? Like that. So we are going to await for this. We know that this goes to the database and then it returns after it sets in chat in chat messages and then that in chat messages up here it's going to have messages which is this okay this is going to have messages okay so now here on our get history after this has happened what we want to do is to get in inside the in chat messages and then get those messages and then put them to our history messages okay so after that is happened we're going to have to say for each message for yeah a new copilot is going to do it so what we're going to do is uh, let's click tab here so here we're going to go to get the message in in chat message because here we have updated in chat message and then if message dot from user if the row is a user it's not like this okay so we're just gonna say if message dot row we need to say to get the row of a message if message dot row is this is equals to row dot user then it's a user message okay so what we are going to do is we are going to history chat dot add context content dot here on the content we need to add on the text okay so it's 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 not like this okay it's not like this the way it's doing it so let's remove it so it's going to say content dot text and then we're going to get the message dot message okay message like that okay we're going to get that message and add it back because it's a string buffer we need to add to string okay so if the if it's a user message if the row is user we're going to put the message to the user side so even here we're not going to add it like that. So for the AI, we need to say content.model. And then here we need to 
put a, a, a brackets like that and then say text part and then under the text part here we want to get the message dot message dot to string like that okay so this is how we are going to be getting our history and then right after this follow-up is done down here we're just going to return our history messages and then that's how we get our history messages okay just like this so now up here we're just gonna say history messages is going to await this okay get history messages and then we have a history messages great now let's continue next now it's to get the images url okay so here is get the images url so also this is we'll check if this message has got images okay so what we're gonna do is also to create another method to get the images URL, okay? So let's go ahead and create that down here. So let's make a comment, get uh, the images URLs. So here we are also going to return a list of a string. So this list is just, let's give it get images URL, okay. So let's go through what uh, our AI has given us. So first of all, we're making an empty list of string and then we're going to check if uh, is text. So also we need to uh, send the boolean is text only so that we can check here, not like this, because we need to be sure that uh, we are sending the is text the, for the images, okay? So let's require, require boo is text only. And then here, we don't need only to check this, okay? So here, let's also check if it is not text only, If it is not text only and okay like that so we have two checks here so if it is not text and then image your errors list is not now okay if it's like that and then we are going to get for each image in image your list we are going to add into this list and then we are going to get image dot path in the end we're going to return these images okay that's how we're going to get that and then now here we just need to create a list of uh, string which is images urls which comes from a uh, list i mean which comes from get images url list and then it's got that okay just like that and then right after this, now we can create a message model, okay, for user message. So now we can get the user message. Here, let's do final user message. This is going to be a message like that. And then we can give it some variables here. Right now for the message ID, we don't have the message ID for now. So let's keep it an empty string. Or if we want, we can just check. But now let's keep it an empty ID, an empty message ID because we'll create the messages ID when we, we want to upload at the time that we want to put them in the database, okay? So for the chat ID, we're going to get the chat ID because we're already getting it from here. And then the row, we know that this is a row of the user. So we're going to get row.user.name, okay? Okay, so it's an enum. We can just put it like this, okay? And then the message, we know that we are going to, we, we are getting the message, but this is a string buffer, okay? 
So we need to call string buffer. Then inside here, put our message, okay? And then the images we are list, we've got them from here. And then the time sent here, we're just going to say a date time dot now. And then that's it. So this is the user message, okay? Now the next thing to do is to add this message to our in chat messages, okay? So let's do add this message to the list, okay, of in chat messages. Now we're just going to get in chat messages dot add this user message, all right? So right after here, we just need to notify the changes so that we can show the message here. And then right after we have done that, we are going to set the current chat, uh, current chat ID, okay? So again, we will check if the current chat ID, if the, uh, no, we need to check if the current chat ID dot is empty okay if the chat id is empty which means we are sending a new message we need to set the current chat id to the chat id that we have okay because if it is not empty we don't want to change it we know that we already have a chat id okay so that's the reason why we created this method to set the current chat id okay so after we send our user message, so this history is here, okay. So after we send our user message, we will set the current chat ID if it's empty. If it is not empty, we won't do anything because it's already there and we don't want to change it, okay. So right after we set the current chat ID, the next thing is now to wait for the response from the AI, okay. Send message to model and uh, wait for a response okay that's what we're going to do here so now let's also create the method down here to send message to ai and then let, so here what we're going to do is let's await and then let's do send message and uh, let's say wait for a response okay okay great so let's quick tap so here we're going to send a message we're going to send the chat id yeah and then we are going to send the is text only we are going to send the history and then we're going to send the images url okay so this we don't need to send this because we are going to send this user message okay so instead of that messages you are yeah, we are going to send the user user message which is going to be this user message okay so let's go over this again we're going to send a message chat id is text only history and then user message so let's end this video right now and then in the next one we are going to create this method first of all let's just create it and then stop the video okay so here send the message and then let's just wait for copilot to create it like that okay maybe this might confuse you so i'm just gonna end this video right here in the next one let's continue from here because let's keep these videos short. Thank you guys and see you in the next video.